In this video, I'll be showing off PS ScriptPad. PS ScriptPad is a tiny little editor for PowerShell. PS ScriptPad is a single uh, file. It's just a, an XE that you can download from our website. Um, it comes in underneath 4 megs in size, and it doesn't require any installation or configuration to get started. So when you open PS ScriptPad, what you'll notice is that it has the standard features of a PowerShell editor that you'd expect. On the top, we have a script pane here uh, where we can actually do our script editing. It supports syntax highlighting, IntelliSense, code folding, um, and debugging. On the bottom, you'll see that we have a fully featured um, PowerShell console. This is the same console that you'd expect um, if you open PowerShell.exe or PWSH.exe. So let's actually open up a script and see some of these features in action. Uh, first of all, you can see that we have things like syntax highlighting and code folding um, already available. If you want to use IntelliSense, you can just start typing and you'll see uh, things like parameters will be completed as well as file paths and even commands. So pretty much what you'd expect from um, a PowerShell editor. Um, in addition to uh, editing features, uh, we also provide um, debugging features. So I can set a breakpoint by just putting a breakpoint on the left side here and then pressing uh, the run button or pressing F5. F5. Um, now that I've started debugging, you'll see that I hit the breakpoint right away um, and I can actually step through my script. So you can press F10 or F11 to do so. So if I press F11, it will step into my function and then press F10 and I can step through my function um, and you'll see that things like uh, notepad being executed. So, um, as you can um, see here, I'm actually using uh, Windows PowerShell to do this, but we also support running PowerShell 7. So if I just select PowerShell 7 there, you'll see up in the top right here now it's uh, listing what version of PowerShell, uh, PowerShell I'm running. So I'm running 7.0.2. Um, on the bottom here, if we start typing inside our console, you'll see that if I do PS version table, that I am running inside a uh, PowerShell 7 session now. Um, so this console at the bottom, because it's just a standard Windows console, uh, it actually has the ability to integrate with things like PS Readline. So you can see here that I have syntax highlighting, um, I have error checking, and I even have uh, multi-line editing support um, that you get from PS Readline. So in addition to kind of the standard features you expect from a PowerShell editor, we also have some cool little additions that um, kind of take, I guess, your PowerShell scripting to the next level. On the left-hand side here, you'll see, first of all, we have the variables window. So the variables window allows you to see information about the variables that you have defined in your current session. Um, you can expand that information, and that will refresh every time uh, you execute PowerShell. Um, additionally, we have the ability to create Windows Forms. So if you actually click this drop down and say New Windows Form, you'll see the Form Editor now pops up and we can actually um, go over to our toolbox and then select Form Controls to put onto our form. So let's put a button on our form. So now I have a button on my uh, PowerShell form and if I just save this, and I'm going to call it Form, uh, you'll see that it saves it as a form.designer.ps1 file. Now, if I open the form file, you'll see that it's also created this uh, PS1 file to actually load um, system.windows.forms. Uh, it dot sources our form.designer.ps1 and then shows the dialog. So if I wanted to do something like, um, you know, uh, maybe open notepad when this button is clicked, I can just double click that and save that. And you'll see that now I have a button one um, click event handler where then I could say start process notepad, save that, and uh, click the run button, and you're actually going to see this Windows form pop up. And if I click the button, we're going to get notepad. So um, you can build fully featured Windows forms with PS Script Pad. Um, in addition to like dragging and dropping controls, we can also click the properties dialog here, and you can um, fiddle with all the different properties for your uh, controls on your Windows form adjusting colors, setting text, um, that kind of thing. And uh, you can also uh, set up your event handlers by clicking this little events button and then depending on how the user is interacting with your form, adjusting that form. 
Um, in addition to uh, the form designer, uh, we also have the ability to package uh, a script into an exe inside PS Script Pad. So you're going to see this button up here. It uh, just says package. And uh, what the package button does is it's actually going to take the script that you have selected. So in this case, I have form.ps1 selected. I am going to click that package button, and you'll see some output on the bottom about the packaging process. And once that's done, uh, what I'll be able to do is run my form.exe that was just packaged uh, via PS Script Pad. And if I run that, you'll see that now my form has opened up using that packaging process, um, and I'm actually running that exe instead of a PowerShell script, but it still behaves the same way as the PowerShell script that I just developed inside the form designer. So uh, this was a demo of PS Script Pad and some of the features that you can use within it. Uh, it's part of the PowerShell Pro uh, suite, so definitely go out and give it a try. It's free to try um, from our website, and it's just 4 megabyte download uh, right from our downloads page. Thanks.